So today I'm going to share with you how to utilize the Robinhood app on your desktop. And if you've never used it on desktop before, there's actually a really cool feature that you can't even get on your phone. Now, if you are new here, my name is Dennis and I love talking about apps and services that really help you build wealth. And I'm excited to share with you guys what Robinhood on desktop looks like because I've actually been using it a little bit more every single week instead of just on my phone. So let's kind of go ahead and break this down a little bit and show you guys what this actually looks like and maybe you might start using it as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump onto the portfolio and take a look and see how it all kind of works out. Now, this is actually my portfolio that you're gonna see here on screen. So right now at the end of this recording day, the market has actually gone up a decent amount. It looks like about 8 0.10%. Um, so that is pretty good. We've had some interesting weeks here uh, before recording this. So it's nice to see some positivity in the market. Now, if you are familiar with how the Robinhood app works already, this looks fairly similar to what you would see on the app. You can kind of hover over here and it'll show you by, you know, every, you know, couple of minutes. Um, you know, what the actual performance was of the overall market. You can switch to the week to the month, you can kind of jump around if you wanted to, um, to see everything in, in that same frame that you would if you logged into the app. Um, you'll be able to see how much you have in cash over here. You can click on that and it'll show your buying power and your withdrawal or spend if you needed to. Uh, it'll show you which stocks you currently own. And then if you keep scrolling down, you're gonna be able to see the uh, wish list that you currently have as well. And then of course, if you go in here, you can actually uh, display either your equity, your last price, today's returns or total returns if you wanted to. And for those that might be wondering, uh, yes, you will still get your free stocks available to claim on the desktop as well, which I'll actually show you guys what this looks like. So thank you, Daniel, for joining in, which if you don't already have Robinhood, I will have the link down below. You guys get a free stock and as do I, which helps me continue to provide free content just like this for you guys. So this is what it looks like here on the desktop. Um, I'm pretty sure it's already predetermined. So this is just like a little fun game for us. So we just click on one of these and then there we go, boom. So now I got a free stock worth wow, $15 and 62 cents. That is actually really good, very awesome. So there's always a little bit of a delay for having this go away. So you don't just get more stock, just a heads up. I tried that already, um, but you actually do get it, of course, added into your stocks here. So SBL, which is the ticker number of the one I just got. Um, so bam, just like you would on your app itself, you can go in there and look at everything, it gives you all the details, uh, which, you know, here it'll tell you how many um, analysts are saying for it to buy or sell or even hold, how many actual Robinhood users have this in their portfolio. You could see the, uh, the buying over here as well so you can buy into individual shares if you wanted to the current market price um, i can actually go in and buy in in fractional shares because i have fractions available for me so i can go and switch here to the dollars if i wanted to and then of course you can click on here and you can do order types so if you don't already know there's a couple different styles of ways to order your actual shares so you don't always have to just go through the market order um, so you can do that as well and then you could also trade options um, has all your detailed information over here for you. So if you want to look at your equity, your average uh, dollar cost, a little bit about the company right over here. And then of course, you know, some extra little information pieces if you wanted to look at other companies within these sectors. And then really important to you is the news. You can get some news information on the apps that you're looking for as well as the uh, analysis as well. Now, I've always mentioned too, is that make sure you don't get all your information just from Robinhood. Make sure that you go onto other sites to try to get as much as you can, so that way you understand what you're investing in. Um, you can also see your earnings here. And then of course, under that, you can see what people are buying as well. Um, if you're interested in, again, buying some of those similar companies. Now, before we continue on, if you are getting some value out of this content so far, make sure you hit that like button down below. It really does go a long way for me. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop back in to the rest of the content. All right, so here back on the main page, I zoomed out a little bit so we can see there's a couple other options over here. There's the free stock, so you'll get your link to pass out to friends or family members, or if you still have free stocks available, that's where they'll be for you. Your portfolio, which essentially takes you to your main page. You got the cash button here, you got messages and then accounts. Um, so you can go in here and you can you know, look at the Robinhood gold, you can kind of look at your bank, your history, pretty much all those settings there as well. Um, if you click on cash, if you have that available for you, let me zoom back in here. 
Um, it'll show you how much cash you have, um, how much is actually earning interest. Unfortunately, the APY dropped massively since they announced uh, the Robinhood cash. So there's that. And then of course you got your information for your debit card and everything else right here. If you already have that, um, which is really cool, you can obviously deposit in here as well directly from the web browser and not just on the app itself. So what we're gonna also show is some of the great detail that you can get with Robinhood. So if we click on Microsoft as an example, there's this little button right here that says expand. And this is not gonna actually be the thing that I was talking about earlier, um, but this is also some really great insights and it might look really complex. I'm gonna switch the screen here. This might really look really complex and it could be for some people, but for others, this is some really great information for, uh, for them to be able to get some really good understandings of you know how the portfolio I was gonna say portfolio how the stock is doing um, and then you can actually go through with like the candlesticks which a lot of people like as well so you can add extra data points if you wanted to on here and be able to kind of scroll through and see how much all of that is being affected so it's really cool I personally don't use a lot of this myself um, but I do again know that there's other people out there that like to look at all this data so just a heads up that is available there for you now, I mentioned earlier that there is a feature that's only available on the Robinhood desktop and not actually on the Robinhood app, at least as of this recording. And this was actually brought up to my attention by a friend of mine named Roberto Blake. And he actually showed me this really cool feature that I think can go a long way for some people that are wanting to kind of get more in-depth information about different types of stocks that are out there for them. So right now we are on the main page, as you can see here. If I scroll down, you'll see where it says popular collections. So for example, we'll go into the 100 most popular. And now it comes up with this kind of like filter system. And this is a really cool way to kind of go through and try to get an understanding of like what's available on the platform. So what we're gonna do is actually have all these options here. So we can click on the different price points um, if we wanted to. So we can say stocks that are over $20 if we wanted to. We can actually just jump to certain ones like under 15 as an example. And then we could even do a uh, price change um, over by the week, the day, the five years if they're rising or falling, um, their market cap, as well as their overall analytic, analytical rating right over here too. So what that does for people is that can filter through so many of the different funds that are out there and get you a really good idea of maybe what is a good idea for you to get into when it comes to investing. So if we wanted to, we can see what has been rising that's under $15 and that has a rating of you know 50% or more. So we can see all these different companies here and maybe there's an opportunity. Obviously we wanna still do even more research. This isn't like a one and done kind of situation to figure out the companies, but this is a great way to find new companies that maybe you know get overlooked by all the bigger companies out there. So you can see, let's go in the last three months. So these companies over here in the last three months have had some growth. You can see this company down here, NV, AX has changed in the last three months, 147%. Never heard of that company before. So we can go in here and take a look and see, you know, what's going on, kind of get an idea. And if this is a company I'm interested in, I can go ahead and, you know, do even more deep dives into this information. So, but if it wasn't for that, you know, cool like filter system, I wouldn't have been able to figure out that company and kind of go through that. So again, I can go, you know, even into technology tab over here. And then I can look, this is under for technology, there's 498 stocks. So I can go in here and say, let's look at the stocks that are 15 to $50, why not? And then let's say in the last year, they were falling. So you can see here, you know, these are companies that are not doing as hot over the last year. Um, again, just gives me some really good insight and ideas of what's going on. Um, I can keep scrolling through and checking all these different companies out saying, hey, maybe there's an opportunity for a buy here. Um, Obviously with some of the things going on in the current events in our market, sometimes maybe just going down to the three months, this gives me an idea if there's some opportunities to buy into some companies that maybe just have you know, a little bit of a bad month or a quarter and have some opportunity to buy into them as well. So that's gonna be a really cool feature that again, is not available on the phone version, but is available on the desktop as of right now. So that way you can get some more insights and get some ideas of what's going on. So as of right now, the only way I know getting into that filter system is looking into one of the collections, whether it's the popular funds or the actual sectors over there, that's gonna be the only way. So hopefully later down the road, there's a way to look at all the funds, but for now you can at least break it down by sector to find value in the funds that are available.
Now, I want you to keep on learning more when it comes to utilizing Robinhood. So I want you to check out this video right over here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.